Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Look, I'm not happy about this. Two minutes ago I was in bed. <laughs> yes, it's not even 7pm here in the UK. But I was in bed because I'm sick of clown world for the day. I'm sick of the internet. I'm sick of everywhere I go. Some company, someone is doing or saying something really stupid. So I thought, screw it. I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to open up my iPad, I'm going to watch some movies, I might even get some Switch out, I just want to relax. Stupid! Goes and checks Twitter. Anyway, so this is happening. I put out the video just before, Lego removing police and fire related playsets, and... I found the article through this guy here, and uh, he says, Lego Group is removing playsets featuring police, firefighters, and emergency vehicles, even ditching an adult White House kit. We ought to stress the good in law enforcement for kids. What does Joe Biden think about this? And it links to the article. Now, this is the article that I brought up in the video, where... <laughs> this email came out uh, from a Lego source, Lego affiliate, whichever way they want to, to, to stress it as, with the title of Lego Few Product Removals ASAP. Hi there. In light of recent events, Lego has requested the below products to be removed from sites and any marketing ASAP. This from Toy Book. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I read this as removed from sale and from marketing. Because if it was just removed from the website so we can't see it, that would be marketing only. So to remove from the sites means to me that these are no longer open for sale, which it's been interpreted here uh, by Brad as well. Then it gives a list of the said play sets that they're looking to remove. Police, 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 fire, 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 burger joint and donut shop. Because uh, there's a policeman that hangs out at the donut shop. It's... And an adult, here we go, a 16 plus... White House. White House. So, Lego have actually responded to this chap themselves with their official Lego account. We are not removing any Lego sets from sales, reports otherwise, of false. So, the Lego Shop Home Affiliate Team, that's how, that's how the email's been coming up. So, it's clear that this is from a shop that does business with them that provide the Lego sets, who are saying Lego have requested the removal from sites and marketing, which, again, I stress, says to me the removal of sale as well as the advertisement of said items. Lego are saying... No, we did, but we didn't. <laughs> Even though the people who uh, go through us to sell our Lego products say yes, we're, we're actually saying no. And of course, they're getting absolutely done in the comments section. <laughs> uh, so yes, people are just like, what is going on? This clearly says that you want to remove them. And then you're saying now that you're not removing them. Is this because uh, Lego have had so much blowback they've made a quick decision? Is it because it was a stupid decision in the first place? Did the affiliate who sells the Lego sets to the people make the decision for Lego? Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Lego, though, are saying that they're not going to remove 
any Lego sets from sale. So that would include police, fire, the White House, burger joints, and donut shops. <sighs> what was quite interesting with the comments that I saw in the video that I put out was a lot of people thought that this was appeasement because their shops had been targeted in recent events. Uh, appeasement to say, hey, we'll give $4 million to bail out criminals if you leave our shops alone sort of business. It's a kind of the deal that the uh, that allegedly McDonald's had with the, um, the Irish uh, back in the 80s and uh, 90s. Uh, to avoid them being targeted. Um, who knows? But uh, now we've got an official response from Lego. And we can hold them at their word. So if police vehicles, if police play sets, if fire play sets and vehicles, if donut shops with policemen in them, if burger joints with policemen in them suddenly start to vanish from sale and are not replaced with updated models or new police models or whatever, we can very much hold Lego accountable for that. Clown world. But now we've got official word, let's make sure Lego stick to it. That's all i got to say. I'm going back to my movie. I'm watching Spider-Man Far From Home. It's the first time I've seen it. Quite enjoying it. Uh, I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.